Alright guys, we are back at it with Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. We are about to take on Bakura. Now, I don't know if this is Yami Bakura or not, but we will see. If I remember, this is when they duel in like the woods and they all become like personality of the cards or something like that. Later that night, the team settled down for dinner when they were visited by their high school friend Bakura. As they chatted around the campfire, the conversation turned into dueling. Let's have a duel right now. Not for star chips, but just a little fun. He has like a British accent, doesn't he? I'm down with that. After all these star ch this star chip stuff, it would be nice to have a duel with no strings attached. I agree. I think just a regular old duel sounds like a great idea. Before we get started, there's a little something that I'd like to share with you, and especially you, Yugi. No, it can't be. A Millennium Item. Yes, and the magic of my Millennium Ring will take us to the Shadow Realm. Why are you doing this, Bakura? Yeah, Bakura. You have something I want, and I aim to take it. Bakura, possess possessed by some unknown spirit, used the power of his Millennium Ring to lock away his friend's souls. Their souls have been locked away, and now, after waiting cent countless centuries, the legendary Millennium Puzzle is mine. Just as Bakura tried to grab the Millennium Puzzle, it started to glow. The spirit within the puzzle awoke, manifesting himself in Yugi. No, it can't be. You want my Millennium Puzzle? Then you're going to have to duel me for it. But if I win, you'll release my friends and send us all back. I don't understand it. Why doesn't Bakura just say fuck off and beat the shit out of him? Like, just stab and you take the thing. It's not that hard. Like, I don't remember in the lore if it's part of the whole lore that you have to win it in a duel. But if it's not, just fucking kill him. We're taking it in his sleep. Yeah, Bakura. Haha, I agree to your ridic ridiculous term, Yugi. But I promise, there is more at stake here than you comprehend, and this is one shadow game you cannot win. Story deck. I remember this, because I also uh, rewatched all of the uh, OG Yu-Gi-Oh stuff uh, when I um, had... Uh, the thing that has ruined the past two years from 2020 to 2022 so far. I will choose Rock because that seems to win. Okay, I guess I go second. I go first. That's fine. I do find it weird that they changed this to the Master Rule Five, which makes it so that you essentially the fuck is this? Destroy all face-up Rock type monsters on the field. Okay. You don't draw. Oh, they go first. Okay, never mind. What does that do? Each time a monster is sent to the graveyard, inflict 300 points of damage. Okay. Is that how it con Okay. That's for everything. Um. This deck sucks. Let's end. End phase. Because I got nothing better to do. This is all for face-up rock type, so I'm assuming that this is going to come handy with his monsters. Man, your bug is going to take that out. That's fine. Just desserts. That's fine. Two cards go to the graveyard, so then I get, what, 800 points of damage or something like that? And then he's going to attack me for 1,100 total? 1,000? Your opponent discards one card around from his or her hand. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Draw. Yugi's deck is fucking terrible. But I want to make sure that he doesn't have the ability to do anything. That's caused 600 points. To Each time a mo monster is sent to your opponent. Okay. Uh... 
summon you. Battle. And I will attack directly with this. What's the name again? Claw Sh Claw Reacher. I remember that when uh, all these cards first started coming out. Like when Yu-Gi-Oh! first came out, I remember this actually being in my deck. Mainly because I didn't have anything but the third deck and like a few of the Legend of Blue Eyes packs. But it is what it is. Those were good times. He's obviously got to break that. I don't have anything strong enough to... Yes, I do. Summon you. If you are a rock type, this would be great. Alright. Now I call forth the power of the almighty Dark Magician. If I was great at animation, animation then there would be a fantastic um, like animation or like some kind of transition, but there's not. And if there was, wow, that was the best animation that's ever been done in the history of YouTube. Don't you all agree? See, well, there would be an animation something like this, but I'm not good at it. So we're just going to have to deal with all that issue. That was your show. And we attack for 800. And we end our turn. My chair keeps breaking. I keep sliding down. This is great. I need a new chair. New chair fund, guys. You guys take my Dark Magician. Just don't sacrifice it. You son of a bitch. I hate you. I want you to take a long walk of a very short bridge. Can I recover from this? Uh, set. And I will end my turn. Oh, doggy. I know that this is Taya's favorite card. No, no, Taya's card isn't this. Taya's card is, uh... Magician of Faith. Yugi is now in the graveyard, because his is Dark Magician. What does this do? Target any number of monsters in your graveyard. Special summon them. And if you do, lose 1,000 life points for each special summon uh, monster. Special summon by this effect. You cannot conduct a battle phase the turn that you activate this card. You can only activate one soul charge per turn. Um. Let's see how this works. I'm going to go with you, you, you. I only have a thousand points. I can only choose the Dark Magician. Yep, GG. Alright. We got to go at it again. Skip everything. Story deck. I don't remember this duel being this hard. Or at least me losing. Uh, I think he's got to choose paper every single time. So if I do lose this duel, uh, we're going to uh, pick scissors. But then again, if I do lose this duel, you guys are just going to see a defeat compilation until I end up winning. I do like that there's some element of RNG in this, though. I will set you. I will end my turn. If this all works, then I'm going to discard Dark Magician, get Summon Skull out of the field, and attack for 2,500. Okay. Gotta love it. At least there's actual RNG in this. Unlike, uh, I am playing through Magic the Gathering Arena, and I'm playing through the color challenges right about now. Uh, link to the playlist will be right now. Or the title card, whatever. Can I activate that? No. I will activate this. Destroy the. Send you to the grave. 
But yeah, in that, there is no RNG except for when you get to the end of the color challenges and you play an actual person. So you kind of have to... I mean, I know the color challenges are essentially trying to teach new players how to do things. But it kind of gets frustrating because you don't really get a new go at things if you start off with either not a good hand in your opinion or you just want a new way of working things out or if you go into like a battle of just essentially equipment and what I mean by that is like a resource battle uh, you run out of resources almost immediately because they intend for you to either win or be in a very dominant position rather quickly so if you're not in one of those dominant positions it incredibly quickly then you're in a situation where you ain't gonna win because if they're slightly up then you essentially just wait out the loss and I don't know about you but I really don't like sitting there multiple duels on a roll and going just okay when you gotta beat me how long is it gonna take you for to beat me because I don't have a response to anything it's like when you get yada locked also unban yada please I want to set that. I wonder if they have another. Um. Yeah, there's only one monster there. I wonder if they have another man eater bug. Yes, they do. They they should wisely destroy this. That's a stupid move. They should be destroying the dark magician because it has the attack after. But I guess that's the issue with the AI in this because no one intelligent would ever attack us the second monster I mean uh, would uh, destroy the other monster um we're gonna attack again and I know that this is probably going to another man eater bug or something but we'll see oh this is going to a morphing jar now we draw five cards this kind of helps me a lot more than it helps them uh, I have monster reborn Do I have another monster? Was this the period of time where you're allowed to have like infinite monster reborns or something like that? Because I know that in monster reborn has been on and off the ban list, limited list, and all that stuff essentially since it started. going to do this and then I'm going to enter battle phase and I'm going to attack. Is that GG? GG Bakura. And none of my uh, storyline monsters ended up in the grave in that one I believe. Well except for the one Dark Magician I threw but Yugi doesn't actually own both Dark Magicians the last time I checked. Are you okay Bakura? I am now. Thank you. Oh, thanks to you. Where do you get your Millennium Ring? My father picked it up on on one of his trips. He told me it's an ancient. It's from ancient Egypt. He was shopping at a merchant bazaar when the Millennium Ring caught his eye. The man who sold it uh, sold the ring to my father said it has something to do with dual monsters, but that never made any sense to me since the card game is new and the ring is clearly ancient when my father got back he gave it to me he said he felt I was destined to have it that was only the first battle guys of the day alright just skip that alright panic um I would play some of the music from the anime I have to keep fixing my chair, so excuse me if you hear the noise. I would play some music from the anime, but even just playing Brooklyn Rage, I got a copyright strike. So, we're not going to do that. We're just going to play against Panic, and we're going to kick his butt no matter how many attempts it takes. If I lose past the... Uh, First attempt on this, I'm just going to do a compilation of me getting my ass kicked. Oh, 
Okay, didn't read the initial part. Same here. Last time I snoo I snooze the dueling cards with dueling cards under my pillow. Sleep well, guys. Ah, Bakura, don't hurt us. Ha ha ha. Suddenly, team heard a scream come from the woods. Best and I like my. The team ran through the forest into a clearing and saw a very large duelist defeating Mai. Actually, she was getting her star chips taken. He wasn't in the process of defeating him. She was already defeated. Bye-bye, birdies. My harpies, they're gone. I think you mean eliminated. Just like you. Now hand over all your star chips, you loser. Mai, are you okay? The sideshow freak giving you a hard time? That's right. Just like Pegasus pays me to do, root out all the dueling filth on the island and dispose of it. Doesn't that make you a garbage man? This is no ja joke. Panic, I don't know why the K is capitalized, one of the island's eliminators. And if you don't get out of here, he's going to do what you do to you what he did to me. Check out her duelist gloves. Not a star chip left. You're out of the tournament, Mai. I am. It all happened so fast. The way Panic duels. I just lost. Ha. She was one of the easiest victims yet. Panic pushed Mai to the ground. You creep. There's no excuse for pushing a girl. I've dealt with a lot of bullies in my life. And I'm afraid there's only one way to, get, to deal with them. And that's to stand up to them. Let's see you try try your intimidation, intimidation tactics against me, Panic. I don't scare easily, especially when it comes up to standing with my friends. Is this like the anti-bullying PSA? Yugi, huh? Must be my lucky day. Pegasus has promised a generous bounty to eliminate to the eliminator who defeats you. Think he'd borrow the sa throw in some extra cash for inflicting bodily harm? Ha ha ha. I wager all my star chips. I have to win my. It's a deal. If you win, I'll give you all eight of her star chips because your bet makes no difference to me. What do you mean? What I mean, little Yuki, is that when you duel against Panic, you're putting much more than your measly star chips on the line. I can see the fear growing in your eyes. I do believe you're beginning to panic. I'm sorry. I'm allergic to bullshit. <coughs> I was joking on that shit you would give me. Do you think that it's great to use your own name as, like, the final tagline? Or did he, like, come up with a tagline and then say, hey, my name is Panic? Are you finished blowing smoke, Panic? The last time someone had the nerve to talk to me like that, I broke them in half. Now let's duel. Grave Caper's Curse. I remember when that was a thing in my deck. Rock. Beat Scissors. I go first. Okay, so his deck, if I remember correctly, is like heavy, heavy defense. So I really have to be well aware that... Essentially, the goal of this is to get this on the field and then do this fusion thing and then launch it and that's kind of stupid like if you if, if you really gotta go with like how I feel about it that's just stupid he's gonna attack that do 800 damage to himself I will sacrifice you, put you in defense mode, end that turn again. And I'm just going to start throwing shit at his life points once he, you know, inevitably taxes because the AI in these games are stupid. Oh crap, I thought he was going to attack me. Mother Grizzly. When this card destroys, you destroy it in battle. You can start to summon one Hunkite with 500... Deck 
face up attack position. Uh, and you are this, right? Uh, summon you to attack mode. I will enter battle. I will do 200 points of damage. That's fine. Then face. His big thing is just like heavy defenses, if I remember. Uh, Mizuki. The fuck? He's playing with Mizuki. What? 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 Th this this card is like twenty years after this, man. No, no, pro closer to a decade late later. I'm gonna set you. gonna set you I'm gonna end and I'm surprised that he used Mizuki that is like a core staple of my decks so has anyone figured out how to turn off the constant prompts that'd be greatly appreciated I'll activate this and, and stop Mizuki. Okay. Um. I'm gonna set you down. Uh, flip summon to you. Activate you. I'm gonna enter battle. And I don't want Mizuki to activate. So I'm not going to attack Mizuki now because he gets a summon of a zombie now. From the grave. Bone Crusher? What does he do? When this card is first summoned from your grave by a zombie effect type monster, you can. Uh, sorry, one spell trap card your opponent controls, destroy that card. During the end phase of the turn that this card was special summoned, destroy it. Okay. Activate this. Get you there. I know this isn't GG or any like real level of heavy damage. Like, come on, it's only 300 attack points over the. Uh, attack of. Uh, the other part of it. I'm just gonna destroy this, it's in defense. Uh, I'll end it on the turn. As long as he hasn't summoned something with a thousand attack points or higher, but he's gonna do it. It's, to, to get it's fucking zombie master? The fuck is this? Does bones have this level of fucking bullshit? I'm actually surprised. I'm not gonna lie. attack zombie master for sure because at this at this stage of Yu-Gi-Oh holy shit if these cards existed then it's GG I mean my zombie deck from 2012 was essentially zo was Mizuki and zombie master and just at least they got the draw to I will set you. I will enter battle. I will attack Mother Grizzly. This is not a panic style deck. What the fuck? 
That's a lot. Oh, I thought you used to you sacrifice from it, but okay. I forgot. This also has a really stupid like defense. 1930 defense with 1920 attack. Uh, you should be using Mizuki. Activate. Um, I'll use Catapult Turtle because there can be more damage inflicted on them with Catapult Turtle. I'll do it in attack mode because I can. I'll summon you in attack. I'll flip you into attack. This has 1930. Attack with you. I will attack with the next highest. Okay. And you have another weird life. Weird defense points. What I don't know why they started doing like this. Also, I remember with fuck Mizuki. Why didn't they do the thing that destroys this? They could have done a lot more. I will special summon you. Get rid of two of you guys. See, like, this is like the stupidest fusion because it's not even like significantly stronger than any of the other shit. I will enter battle phase. And you have zero defense. I really wish I had something with piercing. And I'm not going to activate um, this thing's effect because I don't have the ability to uh, finish the duel with it. So there's no point. I could have done with this and I just put this to the top of my deck. And then. Did this do the original attack? Yeah, it's half of the attack, okay. Now, if that was to any monster, including phase up, that would be pretty sweet. Alright, this is game. Either way. And GG, panic. That was... Odd, to say the least. Nobody beats Panic. Nobody, uh... And then he launches like a whirlwind of fire at you. Yugi, you are incredible. The Millennium Puzzle has more power than we thought. Yugi, I don't know what to say. Here, these star chips are yours. Take them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um... Excuse me, said eight star chips. Why are you giving me your ten? I'm sorry, but I can't accept them. I fight my own battles. My, Yuki risked his life in this duel for you. I know, but there's no point in arguing. She's always, she's way too thick-headed. But if she'd rather be booted off the island, I'll take him. Ha 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 ha. You think me losing all my star chips is funny, Joey Wheeler? I thought you didn't want them. My. Childhood waifu. Give them back. Of course you can have them. They're yours. Really, Joey? Didn't you learn anything from this duel? You can't always keep your defenses up because they'll just get between you and the other people who are trying to, help, to be your friends. Unless you have total defense, Shogun. So can't you let... Your shield down just this once. And now we face bones. I'm not looking forward to his zombie deck. If panic is any indication. Joey huff and puff as he ran in fear. He took a quick glance behind him to see Kaiba's blue-eyes white dragon barreling down at him. Blue-eyes white dragon was about to 
make a snack out of Joey. When Joey woke up from his nightmare. I'm surprised you don't get to redo the duel uh, with Joey against him, but okay. A dream for you, Kaiba. We'll see who eats the dog chow on this island. Everybody, wake up. Joey, what's wrong? What's wrong? It's a brand new day of the tournament. And I'm hot to find us a duel. Well, you don't have to yell about it. Hey, guys. What's the, all the commotion? Good morning, Taya. Where's Mai? Isn't she with you? She sh said she had to go. And they give you this note, Yuki. The note said that Mai borrowed eight starships. Eight of Yuki's starships. Well, you can guess those starships you buy. I don't know. Maybe we really can trust Mai. If not, we're, we're still the Team Supreme, right? Burrito Supreme. Right. Okay then, move out. I wonder how many duelists are, are left on the island. They shipped a couple dozen of them home yesterday. I bet even more of them have been, been eliminated by now. And some of them were really good players with powerful cards. You could, we could be next. Not a chance, Yuke. Those gu other guys just wanted the prize. You and Joey have a lot more at stake. Doesn't really fucking matter. Um, that's true. I gotta rescue Grandpa from Pegasus, and Joey needs the prize money to help his sister. Duelists we face today will be even stronger because they survived the first round. It was only the first fucking round. Even stronger? Be careful what you say, Yugi. You've got little Joey here shaking in his sneakers. What? You think I'm scared of a little pup like a little puppy dog? Well, if the collar fits. Alright, break it up. You just bring it on any duelist, and I'll cl cream them. Right. You gotta believe in yourself, Joey. Little did they know that they're... They will... They were being watched by one of Bandit Key's cronies, Bones. Or Bonds. Took the E out, because it's cool, I guess. We found two duelists. One of them is just stupid as git. It's stupid git. But the other one is a good duelist. His name is Yuki. He's the kid that beat Kaiba. Everybody figures him to make it all the way to Pegasus Castle. Yuki, huh? Yeah. I've heard of him. He's supposed to be a tough little squirt. That is, if you believe, it, believe his reputation. Yeah. We've never seen him duel. How do we know? How good you really is. Nobody's going to the castle except us. That's why we teamed up and the most brilliant duelist on the whole island. That's right. So if you want to win this tournament, you'll keep cool like let Ben Keith do the thinking for you. Thinking for himself. Thinking to himself. You hear me, Pegasus? Soon it'll be payback. He, he fucking lost the duel. Like, chill the fuck out. Things himself payback for the way you humiliate me, humiliate me at the Duel Monsters Intercontinental Championship. Hello, Mr. Odin. That's my paparina. I might post a picture right there. He just woke up. Thinking of it, things himself, it all came down to you, you against me, and I had you right where I wanted. I was sure I was about to win, but you just scribbled some notes. And called over a kid from the audience in duels. What are you doing? Asking for help? That's illegal. I don't need a child. Could uh, I don't need help a child could defeat you, Bandit Keith. And I'm going to prove it. This was the biggest piece of tomfoolery ever. Because there was no way for a non... There was no effect on Pegasus Monster. Fighting his... Garcini Alfantes... It was a 19, uh, 1850 attack monster to a 2350 attack monster, and somehow they gives us one. Just follow these instructions, you'll win. I didn't know what to make of it. Were you just trying to psych me out, or did you chicken out? Either way, it's fine by me as long as I took home the prize money. What fucking prize money is Konami supporting? 
That's Randy Ke Keith played a card. The child looked at the note, followed the instructions, and took the rest of Randy Keith's life points. I don't know how the fuck that happened. What? You little snot-nosed brat. There's no way you could have known I was going to play that card. Keith snatched a note from the kid's hand. Give me that. It's all here. The card I play, how to beat it, everything. No. This is stupid. The entire duel was stupid. You may have defeated me, Pegasus, but you cheated me. Nobody makes a fool of Bandit Keith. I mean, technically, Bandit Keith's right because someone else did play the rest of the duel other than Pegasus, so technically he won. But whatever. Yeah, you get the dweeb named Joey. Good. We'll take the dweeb out first. Did you hear that? I think we're being followed. Holy shit, there's a lot of dialogue. I think you're... You're getting a little paranoid, Joey. You've been acting hyper ever since you woke up this morning. What the hell uh, the heck is eating you anyway? I'm telling you, somebody's stalking us. Jared ran into the woods. Where are you going? To stalk them. As Joey wandered through the woods, he thought he heard something behind him. Certainly, Joey... Joey's whole world turned black as he was knocked unconscious. The next thing he knew, he woke up inside a cave. What a place. Welcome to the arena of soul or of lost souls. Abandoned hope for no duelist gets out alive. Prepare for your final duel. The arena will be your graveyard. The ghosts of the dead are all around you, Joey. There's no way to escape from your fear. I really hope there was an El Witch update in this game. Huh? Who who says I'm scared? I'm gonna replay this guy later on. And I'm gonna fucking design my own goddamn zombie deck. I'm gonna fucking wreck his shit. You can't hide your truth from spirits, Joey. They see you frozen in fear. Okay, I was afraid. But not because of the graveyard. Or your Ooga Booga rap. It's your creepy face that gave me the willies. Girl, lay down your stars, or whatever. We're playing. I I I skipped the rest of the dialogue. You can you can you can do whatever. I I got really fucking annoyed at the dialogue. We've been playing this game for almost forty minutes, and we're not even at the second duel. Yeah, third duel. Let's see how his uh. Okay, I can summon a thousand Regan. Summon you. Can this only be played with? Okay, activate you. Thousand Dragon. I swear to Christ, if this duel only takes five seconds, let me. Fucking annoyed. I also wish you could kind of choose where you place the cards. I don't know why. It's just a habit I've built uh, uh, of just playing this game in most recent memory. Most of his zombies don't have defenses. Now he's got to. Of course. He, what the fuck? Sure, I'll do that. I'll end the duel. Uh, end of phase. This is really annoying now. <laughs> Alright, what does he have in his back row? I'm gonna set you face down. I'm gonna enter battle phase. I'm gonna attack with Thousand Dragon. Of course, has no. What was that? Uh. Okay, that's fine. And I attack. And end phase. And he doesn't have any spells or anything like that like it's steal. The wording on the original post uh, of the original of this is so trash. The uh call what is this? This. The original um like, wording on the text box was so ambiguous that I didn't understand as a kid. One monster, uh, one, an opponent's monster declared an attack, target, okay. 
I'm gonna attack with Thousand Dragon. He's probably gonna. Oh, I thought he was gonna have a defense to that. Yep, activate this. Destroy that. That is such a terrible drawback. That is such a terrible drawback. Like, you take 1900 damage when that thing is destroyed. I would never throw that into my deck unless I had skill drain. That's GG, Bones. Theron Dillow, Joey's friends, found the cave and cheered him on to victory. All right, Joey, you win. You did it. I did, didn't I? See you around, loser. But wait, boss. Bandit Keith, maybe next time you'll have the nerve to duel me face to face instead of hiding behind your creepy fl flunkies. Duel you face to face. You're hopeless, dweeb. The name of the game is Duel Monsters. It's all about keeping your opponents off balance. Win a duel is all that matters. Not how you go about it. Well, you didn't win the duel and you didn't play the game, so you can't win if you don't play the guy. We'll see be about that, Bandit Keith. I wonder why the fuck they're calling him Bandit Keith. Just call him fucking Keith. It's a bad enough name as is. Yeah, right. I'm quivering in fear al already, dweeb. What a jerk. Guys, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to drag you into this mess. Next time, don't be in such a hurry to run off on your own. Eh? It's alright. We know that wasn't your fault, Joey. Yeah, I mean, as long as you won the duel, we can forgive him. I admit, you had us worried at first. But you really came through this time. But luckily... But lucky, that's all. I got lucky, that's all. It wasn't Joey. It was your deter It wasn't luck, Joey. It was your determination, your trust in, in the cards, and the promise you made to your sister. That's what helped you win. I need two more star chips. Hang it in there, Serenity. So now we can get out of this creepy pit. You bet nothing's stopping us now. Alright guys, that was the end of this episode. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, tell me what I'm doing wrong, tell me how the audio is, tell me how your day is, tell me if you were surprised about Panic having modern cards in his deck in this, because I didn't expect to have that many modern cards in this, especially as the OG campaign went on. So yeah, from me, have a good one. See you next time. Bye.